Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Section Expert allows you to control the appearance of information within the various sections displayed in the design view of the report. You can also set the appearance of the sections themselves using the Section Expert dialog box, and this allows us to apply some very powerful formatting features to our reports. Using the Section Expert, we can choose to show or hide entire sections, keep sections together, and set the background color for the selected section, amongst other things. To view the Section Expert, either click the Section Expert button in the Experts toolbar, or you can choose report from the menu bar and then choose section expert. If desired, you could also simply right click on one of the sections listed at the left side of the design view and choose the section expert command from the pop-up menu which appears in order to view the section expert dialog box as well. At the left side of the section expert dialog box are the names of the various sections of the current report and you can click on a name of a section in this list to select it. Then you can view its properties on the two tabs to the right, the Common tab and the Color tab. On the Common tab, you can view various section settings, which you can set your desired options on. Let's examine the options that we can set on this tab. On this Common tab, we can check Free Form Placement, which allows for free movement of the form fields in the report design view. If it's unchecked, it forces the fields in that section to be set only at fixed positions within that section. If we check hide, drill down OK, this hides the selected section during printing but allows viewing and print preview by letting the user double click on a group summary which displays the hidden section. You could also check suppress with no drill down which hides the selected section in both the print version and the preview. There's no drilling down or double clicking to see summary data allowed in this particular choice. If you check print at the bottom of page, it'll force the section to print as far down in the page as possible. It can't print any lower than the section beneath it, however, if it is checked. You could choose new page before which, if checked, will force a new page break before the selected section prints. You could check New Page After, which, if checked, will force a new page break after the section prints. If you check Reset Page Number After, it'll reset the page numbering back to 1 after printing the section. If Keep Together is checked, it will try to print the entire section and all the section data on a single page. If there's not enough room left on a page, then the whole section is moved to print starting at the top of the next page. You could check Suppress Blank Section, which prevents the display of the section if there's no data in the section's fields. You could choose the Underlay Following Sections. When checked, it'll print the section in the same place on the page where it prints the next section's data. And this is often useful for printing a group graph right next to the group data when they're in, they are in two different sections. If you check Format with multiple columns, this allows you to have data displayed in columns instead of as a single column which prints straight down the page in the Details section. When you check this option, you'll actually see a new Layout tab appear, and you can click the Layout tab and specify in inches the width of the columns and the space or gap between the columns. You can also set the printing direction on the Layout tab. If you have the Page Footer section selected, you can check the Reserve Minimum Page Footer, which allows you to gain space by removing unused page footer space. The Read Only checkbox, if checked, prevents additional formatting changes from being applied to the selected section, and it also prevents the use of formatting buttons that could possibly format a section. If Relative Positions is checked, it locks the section next to a grid object like a crosstab, and as the object changes in size, the section expands in relationship to the size of the object. Now after checking any options which you want to set on the Common tab for the selected section in the Section Expert dialog box, you can then click on the Color tab. And on the Color tab, if you want to set a background color for the selected section, then check the Background Color checkbox first. That then enables the drop-down box below the checkbox. 
and you can use the drop-down to select the color which you would like to display as the background color for the selected section. You can click the More command to launch the color dialog box where you can select from a wider range of colors or create your own custom background color if desired. Once you've made your choices to the desired settings to do apply in the selected sections, you can then click the OK button at the bottom of the section Expert dialog box to see those options enforced. So here you can see we suppressed the details section which puts these forward slashes through it meaning that that section will not print or be previewed when previewed. So we just see the group header, group footer. No detail records at all, even though those are the records which are being summarized for the amount sold. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.